Hi there, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be looking at a game called Tiny Thief and this is a puzzle game set in a medieval world and it's inspired by the point and click type games and it's all about helping this little thief steal things from the knight. So at the moment we're looking for unwanted posters so it'll always tell you at the beginning what you're looking for. Now the idea is to tap wherever you want the little thief to go, so like so. Now if you look on here, the newspapers are up here, so we need to get up there, so it's telling us to go up the ladder. And this is just the basic start, to just give you an idea of how it works first of all. So we'll tap that because it's telling us that you can do something with it, so if you tap it, and that gets rid of the knight. If the knight sees you, you have to start the level all over again. So walk across here. And you're telling, it's telling now that you've got your newspaper. So that's basically all you had to do with that level and you can now go to the exit. So you have to go back the way you came. There's no night there now to see you so you're okay, it's safe to go. And we'll go to the exit. And then you work your way through doing all the different puzzles. Now the first one, which I'll show you now, is the first lessons and that's like your tutorial and it just gets you basically knowing how to play. So we'll just skip that first of all. Then this next level is where it gets a little bit harder. So on this one we've got to try and get the cheese away from the knight. Right, so we can see that the cheese is here and the knight's here fast asleep. So I'm going to pick up that cheese and try and distract the knight with it so I'm going to drop it over here. So you've got to do, oh now he saw me because I didn't put it down quick enough. So start again, pick up the cheese, you've got to be quick, take it over here. So you smelt the cheese and he's run off because he feels a bit ill from it. So then now there's no one guarding the cheese so you can take it. And that's basically you done for level. There's also little bonuses for little things to find within the level. So at the moment there's a little ferret. If you find that, then you get an extra star. So it's worth looking around for that. So as you can see, I only got one star because I didn't find the ferret and I didn't get any hidden gems. That's what the ferret looks like. And whenever you see him pop up, just tap him and he runs off to the exit with you. So on to the next level. So this one, a starving friend, so you're going to try and pinch the burger. So you can see here, you best to look around first of all and see what's going on. So we can see that the guard is here, there's a burger, and he's hinting that he is wanting some food, or the dog's wanting some food, but he hasn't, he hasn't got any. So you, the idea is, then you're thinking to yourself, okay, so if the dog wants food, you're best getting finding him some food so that he will then eat it and obviously trigger off some reaction. There's a guy up there as well, let's check him out later. So first of all you can see he's in the barrel hiding. When you're hidden away in there the knight can't see you or any of the baddies can't see you. So to get out you just tap that and it jumps out. And I'm going to... There's a sausage there so obviously if I tap that it's going to release it. So I'm going to quickly tap it. Go back in this barrel so that the knight doesn't see me. So the dog's eating it. And now the knight is chasing after the dog, so it's all clear to go. So you can get out again now. Oh, did you see that little ferret jump out then? So we'll pick up the burger. Tap it. So we've got the burger. And there's one hidden mystery thing to collect, which I think is this guy's music thing up here. So we'll just wait till he's finished playing it. That's a sip of his milk. Yep, so it's fallen down, so we'll pick that up. That helps you get one more star. See if we can find this ferret somewhere before we go. There it is. Oh, I just missed him. We'll wait till he comes back. See if he does. There. Let's come back so we can go now. So we've got all three stars on that level. So that's how you get all your three stars. Find the mystery hidden objects, find the ferret, and also get the main thing that you were looking for as well. So this one's bait the hook, so obviously you've got to get the fish. 
Now it does get harder the more you progress through. By the end of this first level, um, there's quite a lot of actions that you have to do to trigger to get to the thing that you've got to steal. So it's definitely challenging. There is a hint book if you want to appear, and it'll ask it if you want to open any hints. So at the moment I've got... Well, you can only open the book of hints every four hours, and I've got so many hours left. So basically, if you can't solve it, you just need to go back when you've got some more time to use hints. Get that crab there. Ah, okay, let me see. Right, so we're going to jump out first of all. I'm going to go get this fishing rod. And you can't get past the night, so I'm going to try go up here. Go up here. And now it's basically telling that you can use your rod now just above the fish, so you will do. I'm just going to go and get the fish. So now he's thinking, hey, where's it gone? And you won't need to go to the exit now as well. Now to do this, you've got to still make sure you don't get seen by the knight. So he's walking back now, so we can't go down the ladder now until he goes the other way. And you'll know, it'll, you know when he's going because it will tap the floor, like so. So now you can go down and exit if you want to. Now, I should have really picked up the crab as well to get some extra points and tapped the ferret, but on this occasion I didn't. So that's Tiny Thief. As you can see, it's quite a good game. There are six different medieval sections to work your way through. And I'm now on the Corrupt Sheriff one. But it took me a while to get this last one. I actually had to use a hint on the last one in the rumbling stomach. So it does get quite challenging, but that's what makes it really good fun to play and worth purchasing as well. It's not going to be over within a couple of hours. So give it a try, or if you've tried it already, let me know what you think. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.